on a road trip to Kingston Southeast. I'm pretty excited for this because it's my first time on holiday since Cairns. So I got one week of uni break. So I'm gonna go two nights, maybe three nights if I change the plan, but back on Thursday or Friday guaranteed. I'm excited for this, so let's get rolling. I'm at the car fully loaded up. We got the bike, we got the mattress in the back there for camping, and we got all these bananas. And you might be thinking, dude, those bananas are a manky as, but they're not. But I'll show you later on in the trip. They're really good. I bought them like two weeks ago and they're still fine underneath the peel. So I'm gonna open up the garage now and bon appetit. And we're at the Pink Lake. This is like one hour out of Adelaide. Look at it. It's pretty cool. Oh, bless you again. Quick view. It's quicksand. I got this little bit of salt. Oh, it's collapsing. This bit of salt from the lake. Let's see if it's actually salt. What is it? That's 100%. You are natural soul right, right there. there. Let's keep going though. Let's keep driving on. What's going on? Meningi right now, you can see like Albert out there. Um, but yeah, just rest stop for a second. Um, and yeah, I'll keep pushing on. it is look where I am district council of robe so I decided Kingston was not good enough I wanted to go to robe instead because it looks like a much bigger place and that apparently was a customs house for international arrivals by computer setup here in Robe. I realized I drove all this way like three, four hours. I forgot my helmet, so I'm just gonna risk it. Oh, cool, so we're on the coastal trail here. So I'm here and this goes out to the lighthouse and then loops back around. So I'm gonna do that. I was a local, I'd be here every day. No compromise, I would be here every day. So rocky over there. I'm gonna definitely head over there soon. What's going on guys? I'm at the I'm at the robe list. The robe obelisk. The robe list. And I'm carrying the bike because I don't want it to don't want to get gravel on it. That just goes all the way up. It just goes all the way up. There's no, nothing in here. It's just a structure. There's some Cokes, Coca-Colas in there. He 
here in a robe, old prison. Imagine being stuck in here. Imagine being stuck in the ancient prison of robe. So this is where you end up if you steal the bananas. In a prison cell. Climb I've never done before, for obvious reasons, because it's so far away. I'm gonna go hard effort on this for like, let's see how long, 800 meters I think. I'm gonna really send it for the Strava segment, try to get KOM, but the top speed is 50 kilometers an hour. I doubt that's legit. Up here, 50 kilometers an hour, can we do it? I doubt it, but let's try. Let's see how high we can get on the leaderboard. Nice effort, mate. I don't know what time we got. I was doing two 250 watts up the whole hill. It's so weird. You go flat, flat, flat. I was going 40 kilometers an hour up the gradient, which was only a slight uphill. Could have even been a false uphill. So it's actually flat. 200 watts when I see the massive hill. That's just this ramp. It's such a short little ramp. It's like 60 meters. Let's have a look up here. All right, let me show you where I came from, how small this hill is. So that's the road there, that's the depot, just down there. You go along it, it's pretty flat. So yeah, you go up about, you go up about maybe 50 meters if that. Hence the high times. I don't know what my average speed was for that segment. Gotta be something like 28 k an hour, I'm guessing. This is like the best way to end the day. The best way to end the day. Oh my God, I'm loving life right now. I wonder if I could take this back to Adelaide and then just um, do the Torrens River. Final boats are entering the harbour and it's getting dark so time to leave the water. I got some chips from the takeaway shop, that was so good, but it's only 7pm and everything's closed. That takeaway shop just closed at 7 and they were like... It was like 7.03 when they got my order. Everything is shut at 7. Everything's shut at 7. It feels like 1 a.m. right now. Alrighty, it's time to head to bed tonight. But first, we got to head 15 kilometers down the Southern Ports Highway. Um, and we're going towards Mount Gambier now. But there's just this spot on a lake that I want to get to for tonight. So yeah, so weird how quiet it is. I'm on this like rest stop on the side of the highway, but there's a, a line of trees that's like preventing any of the headlights from being seen from here. And um, so yeah, I'm gonna camp here for the night, sleep here in this highway rest stop. It's nothing much, it's just a dirt parking lot pull off, like just this dirt road and then a tree and a table, like a picnic table, but it's pitch black, which I like, so no need to darken out the windows, I'll get a nice sleep. There's two vans also parked here camping out, and I know it's only 7pm, but I don't want to wake him up, I'm going to be a good good resident of this little three vehicle community and i'm sure these are just old people camping out good night and i will see you in the next episode where we go to mount gambia